da 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 so anyway, <laughs> uh, I'm going to Yomacon tomorrow. Yep. So and we're getting married relatively soon here. So we just wanted to get the PO boxing out of the way. Hopefully this won't last too long. Uh, I don't think it's a huge, huge supply. It is a lot of stuff, of course, as it always is. Yeah. But you know. And I, also, some of our registry gifts might be mixed in here. Yep, yeah, that is also true. Because we can't true. tell what's what. So if we get like a blender or something in one of these, is don't think that a fan sent us something weird. <laughs> Well, I want to order. I'm gonna open something that I definitely know is not a blender. It well, feels like a manga. Before you go there, though, we should still talk about our honeymoon here. I was thinking maybe we could go to Park County, Indiana. What is in Park County, Indiana? I do not know, sweetie. Why don't you finish opening that up while I tell you? Park County, Indiana. We're a park in a county. It and has such all... lovely things as 31 covered bridges, oh. hot fishing spots. <gasps> Turkey Run State Park. <gasps> also, oh the county, the Park County Covered Bridge Festival. It's a, a festival. Covered Bridge Festival. It celebrates such things as covered bridges. Anyway, what do I got here? Yeah, what do you got there? Let me get the garbage ready here. This is from Liberty Express Distribution USA LLC. Woot! What my a, favorite. What a great name. And it's a Tokyo Pop. Oh, it's Gaku and Alice. I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's a manga. Well, obviously it's a manga. I somewhat know about it. I think it's about an all-girls school, pretty much. Uh, let's see. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Genius school, blah, blah, blah. Special talent, blah, blah, blah. Mekon. Whatever, I never read Gaku and Alice before, so now I have no choice but to read it. Thank you. Look, uh, maybe we were a bit unfair to Indiana right okay. there. You know, I think they have other things that we could enjoy, like White River State Park. Embrace the space. What happened to Black River State Park? What up? I'm going to throw What's that up? in there. Look, look, look. Again, you're not giving Indiana enough credit when they have other things there. Like, you know, they, their Department of Natural Resources knows exactly what's going on. And I think if you hear me out... We can enjoy some other things from Indiana, like, for instance, the Covered Bridge, capital of the world, from Park County. Are you serious? There's they a have, Covered Bridge, capital of the world? Yes. They have motorcycle and bike tours and attractions such as the Covered Bridge Festival, Turkey Run State Park, the Rockville Lake Park, antique primitive and vintage shops. Sugar Valley Canoes, Raccoon Lake, and the Montezuma Reader Park, That's, which just looks like a suburban neighborhood. I mean, that sounds like everything a, you know, young city dwelling type of woman would like. But that is not all, for it also comes with a subscription to Indiana Magazine. Wow, what wonderful things are there in Indiana? Well, look, we got, let's see. What a view! You could go above Indiana's dunes while kiteboarding. And uh, take a s tour to city catacombs in Indianapolis. And um, experience horrible politicians. Uh, let's not go there. <laughs> Look, who's your Energy presented this guide to us for all the festival guides in Indiana, like the Frankton Heritage Days, the Anderson Little 500 Race, Pendleton Fall Festivals, the Elwood Glass Festival. They literally named it Hoosier Electric. Hoosier. The Hoosier Energy. Hoosier? Hoosier. Hoosier? Hoosier. Hoosier? Youper? Don't you know? Lapple Village Fair. Or Lapel Village Fair, depending on how you pronounce it. A whole fair about lapels? The Anderson Town Pow Wow and Indian Market. <laughs> wow. I don't know if that's a real thing put on by. Native peoples, but yeah. Most likely we got it is. How much I mean, the Midwest is filled with uh, Native Americans. Look, let's try one last time to sell us on Indiana with the 2017 Heritage Trail Adventures. 
Go like to the Amish Seamers. Acres mm -hmm. in Amish country. Scenic Amish country. Award-winning quilt gardens. A quilt garden. Oh, boy. And also, Middlebury. Oh, my God. That's the berry that's in the middle. Probably the sweetest one, too. Perhaps we could also try visiting Fort Wayne. Look, I'm not going to draw this. Why do we have so much stuff from <laughs> Indiana? Seriously, like, there's a... I'm just randomly grabbing stuff out of here. Is that another Indiana right there? Is that like another issue of Wired? Nope, it's Wired from Indiana. God damn it! <laughs> Come to Wired, Indiana, where we like computers. We're the 14th Silicon Valley-like place in the state of Indiana. This is, this is the Pennsylvania thing all over again, except this time Indiana wants me. We're, we're ranked 119,000th in the world for having the best wires. Okay, in all seriousness, I'm going to open something that's actually not from... Come to the Wire Festival. Where this is freaking Indiana again. You open that one. Oh my god, you almost paper cut me in the face. I'm sorry. <laughs> what, what the fuck, Lewis? Indiana hates us, or it wants us, us in particular. Okay, go discover Indiana's Putnam County. Official visitor's guide with local attractions. Putnam County. Such as Conspire Contemporary Craft, an eclectic boutique and gallery. Designs by Donna and Friends. And, and of course, we have to go dining at great restaurants like Fairway Family Restaurant, The Fluttering Duck, Machetes. A whole restaurant called Machetes where they serve all your food on machetes. Also, Danny Trejo owns it. Oh, nice. Okay, and of course, uh, we got we got to see Bridges. Bridges. There's covered a, bridges, oh, sweetie. It is what bridges. Indiana is most known for. It is their covered bridges. They are the they are you know they're the uh, covered bridges ca uh, uh, capital of the world. Let's go to Almost Home Contemporary Cuisine with the Swizzle Stick Bar. But I think Indiana is what it's most known for is Saint Seiya Knights of the Zodiac. I knew the Knights of the Zodiac were based on all the counties of Indiana. <laughs> Seriously, what the heck, Indy? This Who is, is doing this? Indianapolis Zoo. I'm just, I'm, I want to get to some actual packages, so I'm just throwing that away. Oh, oh. Indiana just like is crazy for us this Indy time. Indy Visitor Guide: 100 Engaging Days of Summer. Day one, Bridge. Day two, Bridge Festival. Day three, Go Karts Under Bridges. Day four, um. Shapiro's Delicatessen, the, day five. The abridged community. Day six, bridge. Day seven, bridge. Day eight, Park County's Bridges. Oh, and don't forget the Downtown Freedom Blast on July 4th. While we're still on the topic of bridges, we got here more things that could be turned into bri a bridge series. Like? Presumably, because we got a manga, which I, which of course every manga becomes an anime at some point. Uh, Reborn. Yeah, but is it Vincennes Knox County? For crying out loud! Go to Vincennes Knox County, where We're you can see attractions and museums like the Northwest Territory Art Guild, the Open Gallery, the Art Space Vin Vincennes, whatever, Charlie's Caramel Can Can Corn Shop. And don't forget the Atkinson Farm Yarn. Am I missing something? Did, did, am I, do I have a huge fan base in Indiana? We can stay at the Riley Bed and Breakfast. Or go to Ar New Vision RV Park. I mean, I didn't think I had that big a, uh, you know, should I be going to Indianapolis Comic Con or something like that? Oh, and don't forget, there's great stayings at the Econo Lodge. Right on old 600 Old Wheatland Road. And we gotta go to uh, Cantwell Service Center. It has services for bridges. I don't get it. One person builds a bridge, and another person builds a bridge. And look, like, I built look, a bridge. Get it. it only took me like 10 seconds. <laughs> hey, this is. <laughs> no, this is not from Indiana. I know, and this one is actually another fan thing, because actually this person contacted Seriously? me asking me if I was interested in getting these, because I didn't have them. And it might be something that I'm uh, probably not going to look at next year because next year's schedule is pretty much all written out. But if I can get this open, I can show it off to you. But seriously, it's like Nightmare on Elm Street last episode is nothing but Indiana. This episode should be called Indiana with Hate. 
Wait, no. With hate from Indiana. I'm probably gonna call it Indiana wants me because that's what because that's the name of the song. <laughs> anyway, this is a whole bunch of issues of Cinnamon. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, that's and they're all cover. pretty porny, t porny covers here, as one would expect from Cinnamon. You sure we shouldn't be blurring those? No, nope, it's 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 totally okay because it, technically their nipples aren't showing. Wait, you didn't have more of cinnamon? No, I did not. I just haven't gotten around to ordering more. Well, now we have no choice. Yep, but no, to I look at cinnamon. More cinnamon. Anyway, we got something from Rooster Gold. Rooster Gold, I like that. Yes. Sounds like it should be about like alcohol. <laughs> oh man, why isn't there uh like a Booster Gold themed bar called Brewster Gold? In the comics, uh, he actually has like in like Kingdom Come, he owned a. Uh, uh, Suicide Squad and d the Banana Splits. He like owned a, uh, uh, a, a like a, a chain restaurant similar to Planet Hollywood called Planet Krypton, which showed like like superhero memorabilia. Huh, that makes sense. Okay, this is from Bibbidiel. 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 Rap rap. <laughs> Brat, 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 uh, Space Raider 4, 24, 34. I already have it. Sorry to say, but thank you anyway. I have the rest of the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, the Nova Girls comics. In fact, I am I was hoping to do one this year, but I had to push it back because of the Patreon-sponsored review. Oh, hell yeah. It's a Pokemon sheet set. Hell yeah. Okay, th I think this is from our registry. I know. I think you put it on there as a joke. <laughs> no, I did not because I wanted a comforter, a Pikachu comforter. Why did you want a Pikachu comforter? Because it's adorable and I don't care if I'm like an adult. I can have Pokemon sheets if I want. Fair enough. I'm all, it's not like it's a sign I'm not getting laid because I'm getting married, thus I'm getting laid. I love you. I love you too. That's why we can have Pokemon sheets. Well, how, how big is that? Uh, damn. How big is this? It's a four piece suit. Because technically, because if you want to give me back the larger comforter, I'm happy to take that. No, this is sheet set. Oh, I was hoping you said you wanted a comforter though. I did. It's a full. It's a full bed, so it'll fit all bed. Hmm. One full flat sheet and a one full fitted sheet. I'd be happy to get back a larger comforter. I like I like but, swimming in that thing. But look at look at this design though. I know it's cute. Isn't that cute? That is cute as that is cute as hell. And now we can sleep on Pikachu's butt. My favorite. Yes. Now I really think this is from the registry, <laughs> but uh, who I got it? I don't. I have to check on Amazon to see who got it for us. But thanks. Oh, cool. Asterix. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not sure which ones we do have and which we don't have. I think I don't think we have any of these, which is Asterix and Cleopatra. We do not. Asterix uh, and the Laurel Wreath. I don't think we have that either. Uh, Asterix and Sun. We definitely don't have that. And finally, Asterix and Obelix all at sea. Yeah, we don't have any of those. Yep. Uh, so we do have a few Asterix comics that people have sent it to us over the time. But yeah, mm -hmm. I think that one is definitely not in the collection. So yay, more Asterix, which I probably will get around to reviewing in like 10 years. <laughs> Alright, this doesn't have a name on it because the name got cut off in printing. So, let's see what it is. All right. The slightly heavier one on my side, which seems to indicate it's full of comics. Yay! Yeah. All from Indiana! Oh my god, if it's Indiana. Oh, speaking of Asterix. Oh, more Asterix! We got Asterix and the Magic Carpet. Asterix and, uh, oh, Obelix and Co. Uh, let's see. Wait, is this in England? Oh, no. Yeah, yes. Uh, Asterix and the Soothsayer. And Asterix and the Secret Weapon. All right. Can you grab that garbage so we can uh, put it back in here? Yeah. Got a few comics in here. Some of them are in not very good shape. There's a Firestorm comic that's severely bent up. Uh, it looks old enough that it might be good for uh, 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 fruit, pies. fruit Pie comics. Yeah. Otherwise, we have some random smattering of stuff. We got, uh, ooh, Titans, Legion of Superheroes, Universe of Blaze. I know I was missing, I have most of these. I just can't remember which one I'm missing. So mm. this looks like a complete set. So yay. It's the it's the other crossover that, uh, team, that that my favorite Titans team did. Secret Society of Supervillains. We do not have this at all. Mm -hmm. Probably like an anthology of various things. Ah, Superman, End of the Century. I think this is an Elseworlds tale. About them coming out in a circus. I think so. I can't remember. All right. Some Star Trek Next Generation number six. Mm -hmm. Uncanny X-Men and New Teen Titans crossover. I still have not reviewed that. I probably mm -hmm. should at some point. Uh, Justice League International uh, Millennium crossover. P 
Penguin, triumphant. Mm -hmm. Catwoman, defiant. Mm -hmm. Superman, not either of those things. Huh. Past and future. And looks like there might be a letter or some object in there, possibly cards. Yep, trading cards. Oh, wow. Or actually mini comics. Cool. Very mini comics. Take a look at how tiny these things are. They're for babies. This might be good for uh, uh, comic book quickies. Oh, wow. It's each, one's, each page is just two panels. Yeah, take a look at that. That's there's nifty. A, there's a few of these. I don't know if they actually like uh, uh, make up like a full story. Probably not, because there looks like there's different heroes and villains in them. Got Green Lantern versus the Joker on one of these. And Masters of the Universe mini comics and a letter. I will read that off after I toss this stuff in the trash. <laughs> I want to try to keep this place relatively clean before I go. I mean, we're still going to have the pile of comics, but you know. All right. Nice and short, too. We especially like that. I've been following your show for years now. You made me get back into comics and rediscover old stuff I had forgotten. I also love your storylines, as I have written stuff like that myself as a kid. This latest arc has been driving me nuts waiting for the end, and I don't mean that to sound harsh. It's a compliment. I'm assuming you're meaning the uh, the, the, the sleepwalker. Trust me, I was just as as, as happy <laughs> and, and excited and worried about getting the thing done. Ow. 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 That's not Sleepwalker, Ow. though. I know. It's just that that's the last that came out, and it, I love that part so much. <laughs> anyway, most of the stuff in this package is just stuff I don't want anymore, so I thought you might like. The one exception are the mini-comics. I've held on to those since I was a kid and decided it's time to give them away. The He-Man ones are good, but my favorites are the DC ones based on the Superpowers toy line. They aren't bad for what they are. Maybe you can feature them on a future comic book quickies. Anyway, I hope you like them, and congratulations on a Top the Fourth Wall's 10th anniversary next year and your future wedding from Rich B. Thank you, Rich. Thank you. And the, and the mini-comics look like they're going to be a lot of fun. P.O. Boxing will be right back. With... All right, so now it's time for a commercial break. This episode has been sponsored by Indiana. Indi Indiana. It's what you do when you die. Indiana. Sounds like a very sad girl's name. Indiana. In Diana. Oh, yeah. Atop the fourth wall does not mean any offense to the people who live in Indiana. Or people named Diana. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got a bunch of uh, toy stuff here. Oh, cool. We got a Magikarp uh, a Lego thing right here. That actually looks kind of cool. And a Pokeball. Oh, cool. We have a red movie Power Rangers plushie. Oh, cool. Got a bunch of uh, Power Rangers blind bags. Oh, cool. And, and uh oh we got a competition here. Delaware. <gasps> But this episode's sponsored by Indiana. We can't have a competing co like company against them. You gotta get rid of that. Oh no, it's falling out. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you let like, you just you have messed the spirits of Indiana, and now they're out for revenge. No! How dare you like a have this thing sponsored by another state? Oh no! What have I done? Oh, oh my no! God, it gets that, worse. It gets worse. Pennsylvania's ah! revenge. Ah! Anyway, ah! this comes to us with no name. Oh, yeah. So, thank you to ever sent that. <laughs> Just what the hell, Indiana? Just what the hell? Okay, I'm opening a letter from Jay Flynn. Mm -hmm. All right. This is a gift from Lewis Love Hog. Oh, cool. <laughs> Enjoy your gift, me. All right, dear Linkara and Vega, I've been a fan since 2015, 2016. My first review was One More Day. I have seen a little bit of Vega's Idols of Anime. I am a brony. Hmm. My favorite ponies are Sunset Shimmer, Rarity, Octavia, Princess Luna, Sunburst, Coco Pamel, Fleet Foot, Spitfire, Trixie Little Moon, Cola Ratura, Twilight Sparkle, and many others. Season 7 is way better than Season 6 because Season 6 was a disappointment. You take that back, Season 6 was not a disappoint. Season 6 was great. Season 6 was amazing, like awesome. The ending of Season 6 was damn great. Season 7 was better because it featured Honey Britch's Pony. Go away! First off, Season 7, yes, it's really great on its merits. It didn't have a strong beginning, but oh my god, the end was great. And, if, and I don't want to, for some of you who haven't seen it yet, spoiler, holy shit, if you were reading the um, Legends of Equestria comics, all of that pays off at, with the ending, with the six pillars, holy shit. And it was, and it was awesome, but season six was great too. 
Don't, reminds, be, don't be shitting on my season six. That reminds me, I need to do a bloopers video where I show off the uh, the pony end credit stuff you filmed. Yeah, for that which I was mad you left out. Blah. It didn't fit with the flow of the of, of the storyline. How did you put a stinger? <laughs> I love DC and Marvel. My favorite DC heroes are all these heroes. Yeah, that's a lot of heroes. We're gonna skip. My that favorite term. Marvel heroes are all these. <laughs> There's a ton. I cannot wait till you review Marvel's Secret Empire and tear it apart. Are uh, you a Mass Effect fan? I have never played Mass Effect. I want to at some point. Mass Effect is similar to Star Trek, in my opinion. Is Civil War a ripoff of Kingdom Came? Good Kingdom Came. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was now a Batman and Superman having, like, you, you know, a, like a porno fight to decide the future of humanity and the gods. I, can we make that? We could. <laughs> but the answer to your question is no, it is not. I feel Marvel is disrespecting Jack Kirby by making Captain America a member of Hydra. A, a member of Hydra. Thoughts on that? Good question. The answer is yes. <laughs> Questions. For Linkara, who do you like better as a founding member of Justice League? Martian Manhunter or Cyborg? Martian Manhunter. Cyborg, in my mind, will always be associated with the Teen Titans. And he. And while I like that he eventually escalated to the, you know, you know, you know as a hero, he got enough prominence to be worthy of being a member of the Justice League... To me, he's always going to be a Titan. He started Same. as a Titan. He Same. should be a Titan. Yes. Countdown or fut or the future's end? I'm not answering that question because future's end is going to be a future review, but we'll we'll get to that eventually. Anyway. Kingdom Kingdom came or Civil War in the bedroom? Kingdom come. All <laughs> I know the way. it's Kingdom come, but holy shit. <laughs> That kingdom came all right. <laughs> Justice League versus Suicide Squad or X-Men versus Inhumans? I have not read X-Men versus Inhumans. I read Justice League versus Suicide Squad. I wasn't originally going to, but then the ending of like either the preview or the first issue reintroduced a bunch of villains, including like the, uh, 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 like the Psycho Pirate, Maxwell Lord, and uh, Johnny Sorrow. I freaking love Johnny Sorrow. Uh, so, so... Uh, uh, I, it was okay for what it was, but it wasn't all that interesting. It wasn't all that compelling. Okay, a lot of these questions are this or that sort of things. And we gotta get through a bunch more of these, so... Because there, there is, like, at least 20 of them. And, okay, just to uh, even it out, some for Vega. Favorite MLP episode? Ooh, that's really hard, but it's either, uh, Pinky Pride or... Mmm... Mm. So many thoughts. Mm. Asking for general yeah, thoughts. Pinky Pride. Let's see that. Uh, let's see. Uh, favorite background pony. Derpy. Uh, Sunset Shimmer or Starlight Glimmer. Both. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Shadow Lock and Twilight as a couple. Hell no. Uh, have I considered reviewing MLP episodes or comics? I have before. Look in, uh, at Vega Loves Comics and you'll see a pony review. Yo, we got Pokemon questions at the bottom, so we'll answer these ones real quick. Favorite uh, EV evolution. Uh, first, first, just want to say, I'm sorry that we don't have time to read all these off, but but thank you for the questions. You can always uh, ask me on my Tumblr, and I'll try to get back to you. It's not a guarantee. It's just, there's a lot of these. <laughs> and I have a Twitter. It's just Vega on Twitter. It's I'm easy to find. But anyway. Um, Favorite EV evolutions. I love Glaceon. Sylveon. Favorite there, Pokemon Gen. Two. Uh, six? Is yeah, six, six? And, this is X and Y. Favorite Firestarter. Cyndaquil. Uh, I want to say I want to say Tepic, but also Fennekin, but also Litten. Those three. Favorite grass starter? Bulbasaur. None. Favorite water starter? Oshawott. None. Favorite Pokemon? Bulbasaur. Braxton. Thoughts on each Pokemon gen? XY got me way hyped, and I think I love that the most. One is good. Two is best. Three is... Uh, four is okay. Five is good. Six is good. Seven is good. Favorite Digimon and Digimon series? Tamers... Uh, Gatomon. Gomamon, season one. Uh, favorite and least favorite Marvel movie, pre-MC... I, 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 it's too complicated. Uh, thank you for answering my questions. Wish you two in the future, your future. Check out my DA page, The Hero of Equestria. Sorry, the, the, he yeah, the sorry, you read I, I thought you said The Roof. <laughs> the Hero of Equestria .com. Thank you for the great reviews. I hope you two have a day. We are having a day. Oh my God, Joseph! It's been a day, but the day's over, and we're open, and we're reading your letter. Indeed, so thank, thank you, you, Joseph. Thank you, Joseph. Uh, what we also got in here in that in that thing I opened a while ago is the first three seasons of Batman: Brave and the Bold on DVD. Oh right. I think we have the complete series on Blu-ray, but hey, I like DVDs because I can rip DVDs. Well, you can rip those, and we like we probably have a friend who's interested in having like having that too. Dad. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm opening something from Matthew A. Cavalier. Da -da. What? Why are you doing that? Andy. Why are you doing that? Andy. What? Indiana. What? This Indiana, is not a commercial. Indiana. It's Indiana. not a commercial yet. We didn't cut the commercial. Richmond, Indiana. Yes. Where? Home of Antique, Antique Alley. Alley. And, Heartland uh, Wine and Ale Trail. Oh, Taste the, the adventure. Don't forget the chocolate trail. Uh, lots of trails and bridges. Trails, bridges, that's all in Indiana. Just us girls. Ooh. Did they kingdom came? <laughs> <laughs> this is the 18 plus piano boxing now. Okay, new title for this episode. Indiana uh, kingdom came. <laughs> No, Kingdom Came, Indiana. There you go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I am a bad influence on, on this guy and all of you. Want I'm me to read sorry. that one? Yes, you read this all one. Right. Dear Linkara, salutations. It's been a while since I sent you a package. Decided to send some DVD seasons of a show I sent you before and some video games for when you finish Pokemon Omicron in 2027. <laughs> First up is Shovel Knight for the Wii U. Oh, rad. We have a Wii U. Yep. Going to assume that you haven't even bought the digital version yet, so here's a free we have copy. Not. Thank I, you. I think someone gave me a digital copy of, of Shovel Knight on Steam, but I've never really? played it. Huh. Uh, now when you load it up, make sure to install the updates, as all the DLC is free if you buy a copy of the main game. Also, if you ever get your hands on a Shovel Knight amiibo, hint, hint to viewers of this particular PO unboxing video, mm. it will unlock the amiibo night as well as two-player mode. Okay, you gotta look at this case. Oh, God. But look at, look at the uh, spine. Okay, then. <laughs> look at the back. I like that. Okay, it's the it's the atop the fourth wall game show video game collection. Is Linkara looking for some quick filler gameplay for when he launches his non Omicron Let's Play content in 2025? Honestly, it's probably going to be 2025, knowing this guy. Mm. <laughs> well, an easy way to fill some content is to get some pallies together and play a game show. And yeah, we got a bunch of uh, uh, game show games like Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, Family Feud, You Don't Know Jack, that kind of thing. Smarty Pants, Nintendo Wii. So. We don't have a Wii, but can I play on a Wii U? I think that I think it's reverse compatible, but I will. But we will double check that. A while back, I sent you Space Ghost Coast to Coast Volume Three. Going to make an assumption that despite Vega telling you that you need to watch the show, you haven't yet. So more DVDs of Space nice. Ghost. Sent Volumes nice. One and Two, which are the actual Thank official you. products, as well as a homemade Volume Four. See, the actual Volumes Four and Five were only available on the Adult Swim Store, which went out of business years ago. So nice. the DVDs are now out of print. So nice. I ripped the episodes and put them on some blank DVDs, though, though with new menus. Oh, and it, th and this one has Baffermeal. That was that was the Baffermeal was the origin of a uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Hmm. There were other episodes that had not been released on DVD at all that could only be acquired by using the Adult Swim Create a DVD service that is also now defunct. I put most of these episodes as well as some other episodes that were not available in any way, shape, or form onto the two DVDs. It also includes Baffler Meal, which was the prototype for Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Hope you enjoy the stuff. Sincerely, Matthew. Thank you so much, Matthew. Thanks. I've been a fan of. Like, I loved Space Ghost growing up. Yeah. I never watched it. You missed out. That was I'm, a that was a great thing. I am sure I did. Now, this one um, comes to us, but thank you again, Matthew. This one comes to us from Christian Lee Resigui. I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce your last name. Resigui. 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 In any event. Resurrection. Uh, why don't you show this off while I read this? Hi, Lewis. I tried to find the worst comics I could for your show. I'd recommend looking at DEFCON 4 because it actually contains the most terrible piece of sequential art since the two-page spread that needs to be turned on inside. Enjoy! Or don't! <laughs> Best Christian Renegy, New York City. P.S. Cops is written by Doug Mensch. Lightning Comics business practices are detailed in Bloodfire, and they are exploitative. Check out the last page of Supreme for a pretentious letter from Rob Liefeld. Uh, and hey. PDF... Are you sure he didn't troll you? Oh! <laughs> PBS, my online handle is Shotofen. Shotofen. I, I, yeah, sorry, I, they had to rewrite it here. So Shotofen. 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 Thank, but thank you very much, Christian. Looks like this could be a lot of fun. Yeah, you have some really bad shit in here. The special, uh, and special credit here, using the ba the backing the cardboard backing board for comics for your letter. Nice. <laughs> that is That is some efficient use of, of your stuff there. Yeah, you got some real shit here. Mm -hmm. And some holograph, like, some, like, hologram covers and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Wait, wait, it's time for a commercial. Now it's time for a commercial. This episode is sponsored by Fort Wayne, Indiana, where you could go to the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo. We also, have the best covered bridges in Fort Wayne. Also, you can see this ballet picture. Just a picture. There are no ballet in Indiana <laughs> because we are a cultural wasteland. Also, check Why out... Why are you making fun of all our Indiana fans? <laughs> check out... This county with these cars. They're the only three cars in the whole county. So mean. So, so mean. And this is DVDs for uh, uh, the show, which I should pro which I will... Hmm. Oh, Actually, dear. Did you not get pack those for uh, Yomicon? I did not, but the thing is, I did ha I just pa I did pack my remaining... This is a restock of my Back Issues Collection DVD, which you can buy on Amazon.com. Although, Good. right now, pre-order the Because Poor Literacy is Cool t-shirt so we can make it a permanent item on the t-shirt store. Yes. Th this is now also a commercial for a Top the Fourth Wall. Top the Fourth Wall? Where's the Fifth Wall? <laughs> Uh, good news is I should be able to. Pa I, I Will is taking my luggage to Yomacon with him, so uh, if need be, I can just pack some a bunch of these in the, my laptop bag. I had a leftover stock, but it's a good thing they sent this because I needed to restock on this stock anyway. Hmm. So I'm gonna get this out of the way. Yeah. All right, I'm opening somewhat something from a no-name guy. I always forget that, that that those packages come in Amazon boxes because because uh, that's how, where they store the stock for those. Ooh, we got some uh, A Team. Stickers here with you know, with bubble gum that will probably dissolve if you try to eat it. Yeah, or cut you. Yeah, I think Will tried to eat the other one we had over there. Oh dear, why, why Will? Ooh. What is it? Is it a Sailor Moon thing? It's, it looks like a Sailor Moon thing. Let's open it. I see Bandai on the pack. By the way, this comes to us from No Name. Oh, it's a ribbon charm. Look. Isn't that cute? Hmm. And we got Married with Children number six and a letter, which I Oh my god, there was a Married with Children comic? Yep. You have to do that. Oh my god, I will binge watch some Married with Children with you in, in preparation. Oh my god. This is from Robert W. Williams III. He sent us separate letters. Oh, cool. Uh, hello, Lewis. I wish it's, I... it's the seal guy. Yep. He always puts seals on his stuff. Wish I, I could really say like this letter him. is like my usual ones, but I can't. While we were uh, away on vacation for a week, the water line, the refrigerator burst, and the kitchen is on the second floor. Oh, dear. With that and some other issues, I have been in a sour mood these last few weeks, so I've decided to put the things I don't like or agree with in your show in this letter. Ooh. Uh -oh. I'll start with the entity theme for your show. I don't like it. The instrumental version of your opening song was much better. I love this letter already. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what, I mean, uh, uh, I'm, I, I think it's because the, the music that I always use to signify the entity is approaching. I think it's called Approaching Evil. Uh, with the song franchise i'll keep this short voyager is my favorite series and one small step is my favorite episode for the history building fair enough i disagree with you about its quality but you are free to like what you, whatever you want that was really all the issues i had so this next thing is an annoyance with power rangers ninja steel uh, i want to go in details but the zords are a mess and the white zord serves no purpose when they form the megazord i haven't seen ninja steel yet Okay, that was all the negative stuff I had to say, so now I can write this le like a proper letter. On that note, in the previous letter, I sent you it had a challenge to identify my cosplay at Kineticon. The answer to that question is the Nameless King, and in retrospect, I should have sent Dark Souls 3, and then you could have just Googled for the answer. Oh. I am sending you another A-Team card packet, and all I can say about the comic I am sending you is that it exists, and I don't know why. I have nothing else to say, except that I hope you don't go through with what I'm going through. Cordially yours, Robert W. Williams III. Unfortunately, we are technically going through something like yours because, in case you hadn't heard, uh, I put this in an episode, a tree from our neighbors fell and destroyed our garage, which is also where I'm storing the Comicron 1 bridge set. Update. It has snowed and rained a lot then. We still don't have a garage. And the tree is mostly still there. And no one helped, like... Ugh. There's... Ugh. Anyway, hello again, Vega. I'm glad to see that you're doing well. I have said before that I am not an idol fan, but you're always fun to watch. Anyway, if all the stuff I said in Lewis, I decided it's time to give you something as well. If, if we are lucky, you will like it, and if we are really lucky, it's something you don't already have. Also, looking back on some of your, uh, you and Lewis's unboxing videos, you mentioned an 80s cartoon called Gem and the Holograms. When I looked into it, I found that it was very similar to the idol shows that what? you review, and I wonder if you're going to make a video. No, I'm not going to make a video about Gem. I get this question a lot. I'm not going to make a video about Gem on Idols of Anime because it's Idols of Anime. But and it might as well be an anime like Avatar. 
that okay yeah you might be argue but Vega it was animated in Japan part of it was and because back in the 80s we outsourced a lot of animation to Japan I mean some of the stuff we watched in the 90s was even outsourced to Japan but it was made for an American audience for an American toy line and yeah Gem is not going to be in Idols of Anime ever this was sent to me by Boom Studios it's go go Power Rangers cool also, I saw the My Little Pony movie, and while the story was basic adventure, point A to point B, the visuals and character interactions were excellent. I don't feel like I call myself a brony until I go to a convention, but I have no shame in telling others I watched a show, and that, and, help, and that Pinkie Pie and Rarity are my favorites. And say that Pinkie Pie and Rarity are my favorites, which is imp impressive considering that they are usually the worst type of characters in any show. Hey, hey, Pinkie Pie and Rarity are the best type of characters in anything. But, also, but, Fluttershy and Apple and Apple Spike. No, Flutter Cord and Apple Spike for life. No, 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 no. No, no, see, but no, but the true no. pairing is Honey Bridge's Pony. I don't really have anything else to say except that I look forward to see what you have planned. Best of wishes to you and Lewis, Robert Wilson. Thank you so much. See, my favorite part of the movie was that Honey Britch's Pony. Also, my ships for ponies aren't I you No, I still it's pretty much just Pinkie Pie and uh Pinkie Pie and Cheese Sandwich for me forever. That's my number one ship. I even made a fan comic where they the, They had kids? Yes, they had a kid. <laughs> so yes. This comes to us from Daniel Moore. Might be an eBay purchase, might not, but in any case, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle slash Ghostbusters. Anyway, I was opening this. And then you get to rubbing me. There's no name on the front, but it's a, ah, open. Ah, it's Alpha Five. An Alpha Five pop figure. As a reminder, I am not a big fan of pop figures, but you know. I like pop figures. That's still pretty cool. Yes, it is. Also, so thank you. There's ah, some DVDs. Ooh. Justice League Gods and Monsters, and it comes with a figure. Uh, I think that's like uh, like Wonder Woman, like the alternate universe Wonder Woman. This is like uh, an alternate universe where like Zod is Superman and like Kirk Langstrom is Batman. Who's Kirk Langstrom? Uh, Man Bat. Oh, <laughs> that's weird. Yeah, it's it's a, like an evil. It's like a darker universe kind of thing. Well, it wasn't my thing, but thank you very much. And, it comes and, it, and it's a Blu-ray DVD digital HD combo pack, so we always appreciate that too. Exactly. All right, what do we got next? I got some from Amazon Fulfillment Services. I think it's, I bet it's Asterix. It might just be Asterix. What? what it's, like, it's, like, it's like our big thing this time. It's Indiana and uh, uh, someone trying to fill out our Asterix collection. All right, while you open that, it's time for another commercial. See, here's the problem. Have you, you heard know. of Knox County in Indiana? You know, Knox I... County is the place where you have the School of Hard Knocks. You can also knock on many things. But don't knock too late, or the cops will knock you out. Knox County. It exists in Indiana. See, I'm adding actual, like, you know, commercial breaks in these longer PO unboxing ones, so now it's just going to be confusing to people. In any event, it's not Asterix. It is Storyboarding ah, Essentials. This was uh, from... It was off the registry. And this came... I like. I know who bought this. It was uh, Paula and Lisa. Because mm -hmm. oh. I saw that on the uh, thingy. And they also got this Pikachu uh. holder for the kitchen. Happy, happy wedding. Love, Elisa, Paul, and Gray. Hmm. Uh. Also, wall hanging command strips. Oh, nice. I put that on the registry, too, because <laughs> you can never have too many of these. Indeed. You like literally can never have too many of these in this house. Cause we, I keep hanging up new art every other day. But thank you, Paul, Lisa, and Gray. And look, there's a little, like... It, Agility, thank you very much for buying our products. It just... For this, the Pikachu wall hanger. Yes. <laughs> it's much smaller than it was in the picture on online. Those are going to be much bigger. So oh, well. Just have Pikachu's face leer at you. Yeah, it's way smaller than I thought it would be, honestly. <laughs> well, it's, that's it's still hang something small on it. Yep. Heck, I think they actually printed it on... A printer. Oh dear. Well, live and learn. 
Hey, you still got the uh, the story burning essentials. Yes, this is going to be very useful for certain projects that you have coming up. Eh? Oh, good. Finally, someone sent us Honey Britches Pony. I hate you. First off, this is Dr. Hooves, but he's green. Is it just this lighting, or he looks green to you? Oh, no, he totally looks green. Okay, no. On the camera, he looks brown. But to me right now, he looks green. It's like, a very pale green. This looks dark green. His thing looks dark green. But on, but look at the camera right now. He looks brown like he should be. There's something up with this light lighting in, in this room. Because if the camera is getting like the Possibly, brown. But, but bear in mind, I'm also going to adjust the color correction on this when we do it. So that might make it more green than the actual thing. But it looks brown right now, but it's green to us. Yeah, that's weird. Holy shit. But thank you very Col much, Darren Kreven. Color science. Color science. It's brown to you. It's green to me. Who is right? Me. What right color now. is that dress? Uh, what color is the pony? What color is the pony? What color is the pony? Anyway, thank you. Thank you so much. Another one for my collection. Thank you. Nice big plushie, too. Yep. A very cuddly one. And very well made. Look, look how well made this shit is. Looks like an official one, too. What color is it? What color is it? How did they get into space? <laughs> this is from Mom Store. Mom Store? Mom's Store. Oh, wow. Mom Store. <laughs> we At Mom Store, we sell your mom. Hey, what do we sell at your store? This store, your mom. <laughs> ah, Shonen Jump, uh, Ultimate Muscle, the Kaniku Man Legacy. Ultimate Muscle. All right, and Boom yep. Studios. Boom Studios sent us more Power Rangers. Power Rangers number nineteen. In fact, there's another one down here. I'm gonna skip that one just because I know it's gonna be more Power Rangers and stuff. Really, no point in trying to go through this. So, no, I will. You got it. You got to promote it. It's Power Force. I will promote it in a moment, but here, why don't you promote that? Huh? What the heck? Find out what that is. I'm assuming it's for a magazine. What the heck? You should resubscribe to whatever the hell magazine we tell you to resubscribe Please to. Please renew my subscription to whatever magazine that we don't have. Oh, wait, we do. It's Otaku USA. Okay. Got a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards here from, I think, Adam Ozella. Oh, cool. Hey, Adamo. Different Dimension Capsule, uh, Levia Dragon, Daedalus, Pitch, Dra Pitch Black Dragon, uh, Sorcerer of Dark Magic, M Warrior number two, Red Eyes Black Dragon, and Silver Fang. Thank you very much. Okay. Also got some, a lot of letter, which I'll read off while you open that. All right. Another card, which is Tiger Axe. All right. Dear Luis and Vega, it is me, Jeffrey Piet, taking over a poor soul's body and forcing him to write a letter. And his name is Adam O. Hi, guys. It's Adam O. <laughs> I've discovered an app that lets you read every comic under the DC Rebirth banner and the entire Batman catalog. It is called Hoopla. If you're interested, all you need is a library card. And if you have an Android, oh. you can read so many more comics in DC. Oh, my God. I have a library card. Now for my usual round of questions. What is your opinion on Will Eisner's Dropsy's Avenue trilogy? Oh, I love it. I have it. In, I have it in the library. I read it like a couple times. I I love all of Will Eisner's stuff pretty much. I haven't really well. Spirit, I'm kind of air on, but most of his like just like graphic novels. Uh. For Viga, have you seen Glow on Netflix since it is like wanna be the strongest in the world? I saw the first episode and half of the second one. I just didn't stick with it. It's the main character. I just. The main character, it turned it off for me, but I do like the story. But, yeah. Who do you think is the best Green Ranger besides Tommy? Uh, I'm going to go with Bridge. What is your favorite Justice League story besides JLA Titans? Uh, probably one of the Grant Morrison ones. I want to say World War Three. And you're, uh, you know, the other World War Three, the storyline, not the comic, you know, event as part of 52. In your opinion, what is the worst comic in the world? Holy Terror. For Vega, do you dislike or hate Nickelback? I dislike and hate Nickelback. Will you ever wrestle Vega on camera in your storyline? We don't call it wrestling. What movies do you think should be on MST3K? Oh, oh. Mighty Jack's MST3K reviews had, I think is the one who had this great list of episodes that should have been MST3K episodes, like, uh, like that one with the giant starfish monster mm. uh, uh, from Japan. Uh, let's see. I always think uh, Frankenstein Meets the Space Monster should be on MST3K. Yes. 
Okay, like all the movies I I want are too recent for that they too recent for for them. Yeah. Cuz they do stuff like they don't really do stuff past like 85 or 89. You know, Werewolf was actually I think like early 90s. Yeah, because I want them to do Warriors of Virtue, that like shitty kangaroo thing. Man, I I riffed that with friends. It was hilarious, hilariously mm-hmm. bad. Also, tell your friends about my latest book, From the Library of the Unknown, which is a collection of original short stories written by me and include a true story of the time I met Stan Lee and my life story. You heard the guy. Do you drive and do you agree the learner's permit test is hard because I want to be an Uber driver? I'm actually studying for my uh, learner's permit right now. It's not too hard, like, but, you know, then you have to put in the practice of driving. And, yeah, but... Where you want to be an Uber driver? Driver, I would look into that company because it has some sh- shady stuff about it. Might want to go for Lyft instead. Yeah. For Vigo, who is your favorite gem? Uh, as in crystal gem? Yes. Um. I'm assuming so. Anyway. I want to say Garnet. No, Amethyst. I. I mean, Amethyst. I relate most to Garnet is who I aspire to 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 be, and Pearl. I just kind of. Oh, God. Pearl is what I am in my more crazy moments. Lapis is what I am when I'm all, like, edgelord wannabe. And Peridot is my all my geeky side. And Steven is my most... When I'm at my most, like, you know, people are awesome. Pizza Steve is my favorite gem. (laughs) I love that episode. Uh, For both of you, who is your best friend? But outside of... Okay, outside of Outside of us, I think probably Will. Uh, Cess. No, Jed. Jed and Cess. And Latroy. And Jone. And, and and Molly. And Ah, there's too many friends! Hope this letter finds you if you know. Lewis! Lewis! Lewis. If not, blame Jeffrey P. at Excelsior from Adamo, a.k.a. the Boston Brainiac. Subscribe now. Thank you, Adam. Alright, what do we got there? Alright, this came from Ontario? Ooh. Yes, Canada. So, Ontario. Yeah. And it has a giant question mark on the box. It's a mystery box. It's a mystery box. All right. It's a mystery box that's also relaxed fit. All right. You got a uh, letter. Something written in unknown. You can read unknown, right? Uh, barely. When I am hidden, my power is, my power is strong. Uh... If I am found, I cease to go. Ooh, look at that. It's like the little unknowns. Oh my god, it's a whole bunch of unknown, unknown plushies. Unknown, unknown, unknown. I love the unknown. I am sad. That, unknown, uh, here's unknown. what they need to do in a future unknown, game. Unknown, unknown. They need to have like a mega evolution or like a form change for unknown if you have all of them. Cause oh, like man, that would be great. Because I love unknown. I played with it for like until like level 25. When I realized, this thing's never going to learn another move, is it? Oh, look. Back in the original Gold and Silver, because I was fascinated by the unknown. And they didn't really amount to much, but I feel like there's so much potential for more with them. And they should do something with them. And and thank you so much for Unknown Plushies. I'm going to put that back there. And we got a... uh, Oh, um, we also got Deadpool and this flag. We got some artwork here, including... Ah! uh, 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 This is from the Pokemon Omicron... Uh, uh, stream. This is Dave the Psyduck. He's like, hey! Dave, you are very, you speak very strangely. That's the thing. There's a guy in Team <laughs> Olympus who, who, who named Dave, who just goes like, hey! And, 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 uh, uh, I like flags. And Kaluna theorized that it was just a Psyduck in a person <laughs> suit. I like flags. Yes. We also got. Me dressed as Gardevoir. Oh yeah, the various artwork. Cause, cause of course you can change your your outfit. And sometimes you can wear Pokemon suits. <laughs> so here's me as a Gar as a Galade, I think. <laughs> and here's me as a Pikachu. Aww. And here's me as a Lucario trying to work the magic gun against a Mimikyu who apparently is also a missing number. <laughs> I have a flag. Hello again, Linkara Viger.
and or anyone else who might happen to be present when you open this. Okay. It's me, Ace Spade, the guy who likes to type in all caps in your Twitch streams. I know it's been a while since my last pack to you, but I need a lot of health and financial issues I needed to deal with uh, with uh, first. Now that's going okay for me again. It's time for the unknown to be confronted. Also enclosed, you'll find a pair of Pikachu cosplay ears I modified from some store-bought Easter rabbit ears. Some fan art you may recognize. These are very nice. Uh, and the trade paperback of... of uh, Millionaire Air with a Mouth? Millionaire with a Mouth? Yes. Millionaire with a Mouth. Was that in Deadpool. there? Deadpool. Ah, I thought it might be worth a review eventually, since out of all the Deadpool stories I read, this one was the most dull, confusing, and far too serious for a Deadpool story. I actually think we have this. We might. Oh, and uh, here's me as, as, as me as Lucario with the uh, white Zeo Ranger outfit. Yeah, I totally read this when I was in my Deadpool binge earlier in the year. I thought it was okay, but you know, maybe I, I haven't read it in a while. I liked it. They try too hard to go for pathos in what's supposed to be a comedy. It'd be like trying to sell tell a serious drama with the Looney Tunes or Family Guy. It really should have been a Spider-Man or a Wolverine story in my mind, but then again, maybe you'll see something in it, and I didn't. Also, I included a little Canada flag because Vika likes flags. I do. So, thank you so much, Ace Spade. Thank you. Mm. Also, I got a new flag. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I opened this one up. This is another Amazon one. Uh, it's a manga. Oh, shit. It's Girlfriends. Oh, man. Okay, so I've been rereading Girlfriends because I just bought. I already bought this, like, literally this week. I bought the second one to go with my first one. I love I loved Girlfriends. So here's another commercial. Girlfriends. This is a great Yuri. Uh, like, it's, it's not like hardcore, let's just screw right away type of thing it's just a nice gentle on like relationship to two of two girls who are best friends who are just figuring out their sexualities while in high school with each, and then they eventually realize they love each other and they get together and it's awesome and it's like just just milk morinaga is one of the best yuri artists than mangaka ever it's from vigar artson it's not porn but it's still great it's it's very great. It's not porn. It's beautiful. It's too. Mer Milk Morinaga is one of the best. P.S. You're not Scandinavian. You're not. You're gonna get my name wrong. Don't worry about it. You're my favorite customer. <laughs> this V. I figured I might as well keep this up so we could all use some additional good music right now. Uh, which. Oh, K on. K on. K on season two. Additional question: Best single story slash storyline from the MLP comics and favorite creative team on said books. What? That was a question for you for the oh, Milo Pony. What's comics. the best? What what? Uh, storyline or single issue? Uh, my fav my sing favorite single issue is it's a more recent one with Pinkie Pie and Cheese Sandwich, and they are stuck in this like house that in this perpetual party. And for storyline, I really liked uh, huh, that's a good question. Man, it's it's too hard for me to decide. Sorry. Uh, and for me, Mr. L, you mentioned you liked crossovers and outsiders. Could you use a look at these pre-crisis stories? Too late, yes, but still. This is the trade collection, Crisis on Multiple Earths, that collects stuff like the, uh, the Justice League crossovers. So, thank you for those. Cool. Alright, so we got something from End Zone Hobby Center. End Zone Hobby Center. It's in the end oh, zone. Oh, wait. It's, it's an envelope within an envelope. Yo, dun, dog. Dun, dun. Yo, dog. Help, I can't. Cutty thing. Uh, and of course, it's stuck between two pieces of cardboard ah! that are taped. Seriously, comic people, why do you do this? Because we need to keep it safe for you. You know, it's important. Is it safe? Is it safe? Is it safe? Oh, it's Shirtless Bear Fighter. Throw that off to the camera. Shirtless Bear Fighter. This is by a uh, image. So when shirtless does bear fighter. When does high concept go too far? Shirtless bear fighter number one. Meaning there's probably a number two. <laughs> shirtless bear fighter. Yeah. I love this new postmodern age we live in. We couldn't get to this during Halloween, but uh, this one right here, I'm gonna cover up the uh, the uh, name from Virginia Fox here. Uh, her address, because we got, like, this really cool card with some art on it, with including, like, a Halloween Bulbasaur and a Noibat. I do love those drawings on her. a pumpkin. Make. Yeah, this is sweet. That is a really cool drawing. Mm-hmm. The card, you know, I will get this. Ooh, look at this. Oh, art. cool. They sent you some arts. Look at that. We like Bulbasaur 
with, you know, Halloween stuff and me in a bull. Oh, a hat. my God. We could have put Bulbasaur in a costume. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, now I feel bad. Oh. Damn it, that would have been smart. Oh, next year we got to do that and we could have it chill with Freddy and uh, Skeleton Lady. We need a better light for for Vega, for, for uh, uh, Freddy and Skeleton Lady. Dear Linkara, I haven't been a subscriber to your channel for very long, but I'm happy to have come across your awesome videos. Your reviews never fail to bring a little joy, even on days that aren't easy to get through. Thank you. I hope you and your wife are doing well. Best wishes to you both. Thank you. Let's see if there's a second message in here. Uh, joy of Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> it's awesome. Thank you so much. That thank artwork you. is great. Cool art, man. So thank you, Virginia, and hope you enjoy you know future content from the channel. All right. I'm opening something from Leigh McElhaney. McClani. Yeah. It is. It is. Yes. It's stuck. Da, in a da, 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 um, um, Indiana has sponsored this part. Indiana says you yeah. should come to Indiana because of bridges and we have the pumps. I will high five you. I love you. This is from Alexander Brown from Australia. Wait, I'm still opening. A I thing. know. I'm just trying to keep things moving. <laughs> Why is this so hard? Hey. Because they make it hard. They make it harder than they need to. Oh, it's, uh... Oh, dear. It's Captain EO! The comic? The comic! Neat! Neat! The official 3D adaptation... Of Captain EO. There's something to do later on. All right, this is a bit of a longer letter, so I'll start reading this off if you want to start opening up another one. Right. Hi, Lewis and Vega. My name is Alex, and I am a massive fan of both of you. Aww. I was planning on sending over a bunch of trade paperbacks for both of you, but unfortunately, at the present, I can't due to the fact that I live a whole continent away, and shipping costs are an absolute pain. I know exactly what you mean. Mm -hmm. Lewis, your show was one of the things that inspired me to get into mainstream comics, alongside the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic IDW series. Yay. MLP and Gravity Falls are my two favorite animated series ever. Cool. And I have since become a big fan of the DC Universe in particular. My favorite DC superhero is Superman, and on the exact opposite end of that spectrum, my favorite Marvel superheroes is, of all characters, Eugene Patilio, a.k.a. the Fabulous Frogman. I love the little guy, even I'm not entirely sure why. I know that feeling. My favorite reviews of yours, funnily enough, are the reviews of the terrible 90s comics, Blood Strike and Ravage 2099 in particular. We might be coming back to Ravage 2099 next year, hint, hint. Ooh. Uh, and the bizarre and obscure independent comics that you feature, including Speed Steer, Black Web, Captain Electron, Captain Tax Time, and The Wild. Oh, I want. I would love to have another Captain Tax Time comic because that yeah. was so much fun. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but I think it's because the more insane and goofy premises appeal more to my personal sensibilities, and the jokes told in those reviews tend to resonate with me more. Also, another 10th uh, anniversary sequel episode might have a follow up to Speed Steer. Hint, hint, wink, wink. <laughs> Uh, and the jokes told in those reviews tend to resonate with me more. I have very bizarre tastes, is what I'm saying, and goofy schlock really appeals to me in that respect. I also love it when you do your Hulk impression. <laughs> Hulk thick letter good! Yay! On that note, I also included a picture commissioned to me and done by the online artist Dave Bednarski. I recommend DeviantArt, dbed.deviantart.com. On my team, I came up with all based on independent characters you have spotlighted on the show. Huh. Well, let's show off this art. Yeah, show off that art while I read this off. Uh, I love coming up with alternate versions of existing characters, but I like to think I put a little sure. bit more effort into doing so than Rob effing Liefeld. Anyway, I hope you enjoy my pictures of the Guardians of the Fourth Wall. Can you figure out who Voltic Man, Funnel Web, Battle Bunny, Cat Sif, Durga, and Zephyrox are based on? I'm going to take a look here real quick. Obviously, we got the Speed Steer-inspired uh, one there. Yep. Uh, I, think, I think that'll be Zephyr. Uh, Zephyrox. Uh, we got the V-shaped one in the name, so I'm thinking that's Voltic Man. I'm not sure who that is based off of. It sounds familiar. Maybe Captain Electron? Hmm. Uh, because they mentioned some of this. Battle Bunny, obviously, is the wild. Yep. And, uh, Black Web is a nice, more monstrous design. I like that. Uh, the cat one, which kind of resembles maybe Night Cat? Maybe. Funnel, maybe Funnel Web? Hmm. Maybe Nightcat, maybe someone else, especially because they have this glowing hand right here, which makes me think, you know, Dazzler ripoff kind of a thing. Yeah. And uh, this lady down here, 
I think that is supposed to be, yeah, Cat Sif. And I think it's supposed to be Durga. Hmm. Uh, I do not know what the connection is there. I mean, looking at the ones I liked before, Black Web Seed Sphere, Captain Tax Time in the Wild. I don't know. I, I'm, you know, I'm blanking on that one, but it looks really cool. I like, I like alternate versions of these characters, especially because it shows that any concept can work. Superhero cows are awesome. Thank <laughs> you, the bat, uh, the bat cow. <laughs> anyway, on top of helping me find my love of the history and content of the entire medium, uh, if that one doesn't have a name attached to it, you can probably just show it off. Oh, okay. Yeah. It doesn't have a name attached to it, but it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc V. Arc V? It is Hunter x Hunter 1, or Hunter Hunter, and Justice League Trinity War. I think we already have a copy of Trinity War, but thank you whoever sent that anyway. Cool. Anyway, on top of helping me find my love on History of Content of Entire Medium, you may have even helped me potentially discover my calling in life, as I have since tried my hand at comic writing and really enjoyed it. Ooh. I haven't managed to get anything actually published, since my own visual art skills are not particularly good, though I am trying to improve on that front, and I currently don't have the budget to hire any artist for an entire comic. Keep at it. Maybe you'll find a collaborator. Regardless, I am attempting to improve my storytelling abilities, and hopefully the story I am writing right now will be the first I am able to successfully put out there. Good luck, man. Woot. Said story is greatly inspired by your content, and I am attempting to take all your pointers that you have put forward over the course of your show regarding the nature of good storytelling, such as having each individual issue stand on its own, while also tying into a larger narrative a la the pre-Flashpoint Blue Beetle comic. <laughs> or making sure that characterization is done well, and not just to rely on exposition or action scenes. The story will be a six-issue miniseries satirizing the historic portrayal of drug use in superhero comics. From the Golden Age, where pills or serums were considered a perfectly legitimate method of getting superpowers, to the Bronze Age and the social issues regarding drugs were tackled to occasionally incredibly bizarre ends looking at you new guardians. <laughs> At the time of this writing, I'm currently scripting the fourth issue, and the comic as a whole will feature parodies of and references to many different drug-based storylines in comics, many of which have been featured on your show, including Leaves of Grass, NFL Super Pro, and the new Teen Titans anti-drug giveaway comics, Rise of Arsenal, and even the Tandy Computer Whiz Kids. I don't want to give too much plot related away, but the main focus is about mysterious going-ons being investigated by a superhero who gains incredible telekinetic abilities whilst high on heroin. Her superhero name? China Cat. <laughs> anyway, should said comic actually get made, I will make sure to send you the whole thing as a personal thank you for helping and inspiring me all these years, and I hope you'll enjoy it, or at the very least, get a good chuckle out of the references. Now some questions. My favorite all time comic of all time is Astro City by my all-time favorite comic writer, Kurt Busiek. Have you read it, and do you have any personal favorite writers? Unfortunately, I have not read Astro City. I know of it. I know it's supposed to be really good. Mm. Never read it. Uh, given your state of love of supernatural horror, have you seen Gravity Falls? And if so, what's your opinion of it? Haven't seen it. She's seen a little bit of it. I've seen I want the first to watch season. It. It's good. I haven't finished it, and I already know what happens because Tumblr spoils everything. So, eh. After you finish the final Tandy Computer WizKids comics, will you follow that up by reviewing Superman number three fifty eight, which features the kid, kids, and Miss Wilson in a story canon within the DCU? I did not know this existed. I will have to find this. Of course, that's not the only reason to review it. It features Superman taking on an evil anthropomorphic dandelion who is the antithesis of to Mother Nature. You need to make you need to get Superman number 358. I need to get this. You need to get that. Will you at some point feature the hostess comic featuring Spider-Man taking on the chairman for comic book quickies? Uh it's probably one of the most bizarre of the lot, and that's saying something. I need to have a copy of it first. Uh so if you feel free to send me like a 70s comic that has it. Uh but yeah, I would definitely love to do that. Have you seen the, uh, the online article, the 40 worst Rob Liefeld drawings and 40 more of the worst Rob Liefeld drawings? Yes, I used to get sent that all the time. Most of them are from comics that I've reviewed on the show before. <laughs> I have recently started watching the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series, not only really being interested at first, but your passion for the series convinced me to give it a try, and I'm really enjoying it. Do you have any favorite monsters from the series? The Pexter. There's just something about the Pexter I love. And Eye Guy. Because you can't go wrong with that name. What's wrong with Eye Guy? You got a problem with Eye Guy? This marriage is, is over now. Do you have any favorite uh, uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers monsters? No, I just wanted to make silly faces. Yeah. Uh, on that same note, what do you think? What did you think of MMPR Justice League? Still haven't read the final issue, but loved it so far. Uh, I read it as I was getting into the TV series, and even as a newbie, I still found it really enjoyable. But the thing that blew my mind more than anything to do with the story came to the fact that the artist, when doing the panels of monsters attacking Melbourne, actually took the time to recreate the looks of famous Melbourne landmarks. As a native Melbournian, I was floored by this. I even included comparison shots to demonstrate. And that is pretty awesome. It's nice when, you know, artists actually, like, you know, take the time to, to do these things. Yes, I love this. 
And plus, like, fans of the comic will go visit these places sometimes. Like, I did that a few in a few cities I've been to. To both Lewis and Vega, what are your favorite types of monsters? Vampire, werewolf, mummy, etc. I love mummies. Um. And Fra and 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 uh, the Frankenstein monster. Love the love that one. Mm. Love those two in particular. This is hard. It's hard for me to decide. I mean, we were just talking about monsters last night too. Kaiju, of course, you uh, know. Uh, Every country uh, has, has a monster, monster they're, they're afraid, afraid of in the nation. nation. On that note, uh, while you're thinking of that, what are your favorite episodes of Mystery Science Theater Three Thousand? Writing with Death. Puma Man. Puma Man's my set. It's like it's up there. Space Mutiny. Mm, nah. Uh, for me in particular, as as a unique one, Screaming Skull I love a lot because it has a kind of humor I like, which is more like uh, uh, reactionary humor based off of the dialogue uh, uh, to what's going on, like, like ad-libbing their own dialogue for for the, for the situation. It's like, like, oh, it's the robots I hired to do the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any thoughts about your favorite no. type of monster? That's about it. Keep up the amazing work you're doing. The world is richer for having both of you in it. With, si with sincere thanks and appreciation, Alex. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. That's that a lot of awesome there. Long one, but... That's a long letter. That, that, was, that was worth it, though. So now it's time for a short commercial. How about the Indiana Recreation Guide? Oh, boy! Where you can be on a river. Don't forget in the... Your Indiana Recreation Guide, as you go to Indiana, you can make memories for a lifetime at Indiana Stacks. And special events like the Hardy Lake Breakfast with the Birds, the Patoka Lake Full Moon 5K, and the Smoky Bear Birthday Bash, is there all a, in Indiana. Is there another water bottle? Uh, or do I have to go to Indiana for it? What? I, I, I need water. I gave you water. I can't find it. You lost your water? It fell over. There we go. Well, I got this it. Is too bad. This is my water. I, just, I thought I couldn't find it at first. Mm -hmm. You know, matching Con Bravo cups. Con Bravo. It's a con. And from 2016 at that. <laughs> I couldn't find it. it what do you over. mean you can't find it? It's falling over. <laughs> I'm opening something, and it's from your pal, your favorite pal, Lewis, Jeffrey Piet. What? Jeffrey Piet has sent. Bunch of stuff. DC Superhero Girls 2 Film Collection. Yay! Power Rangers Action Card Game. Da -da 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 -da. This, uh, this is an eBay one, Batman White Knight. This is from... No idea. Power Rangers Mega Construct. Mm -hmm. Wonder Woman plushie. Wonder Woman. Let's see, another Pikachu, like a Pokemon Lego thing. And that one's uh, Pikachu instead yep. of Mag the Magikarp one we got. Yep, so that's it's cool. a Pikachu. It's Pikachu! <laughs> and more Power Rangers. More Power Rangers Legos. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, oh, and, a, and CD. a CD. Ghostbusters original soundtrack. Oh, neat. Who are you going to call? Sounds like it's moving around in there. It's moving around. Yay, it's probably scratched. <laughs> Scratch CD. It's a letter from Justin Kennan. I will read that off real quick here. While you start opening up another box. Oh. Ah, this is, another, this is a shorter one. We like that. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Lovehog, in honor of your wedding and marriage, I'd like to do an, an, an interactive toast for you and your viewers. Oh. For this, all you need is a drink close by. Pause the video if you have to get one. Okay, everyone, pause, gotta, pause the video. Pause we the need video. drinks. Open up my water bottle here. <clears throat> Raise your glass. Lewis and Vega, in marriage, there are three things you should never do. Never lie. Never cheat. And never drink. If you must lie, lie in each other's arms. If you must cheat, cheat death. And if you must drink, drink with us now to celebrate. Come pie. That was good. That's actually That's, real. I like that. Holy that is, crap! Can we? Can we? Did actually, you feal that? Can we actually use that in the wedding? 
I'm gonna like, try it. We should. Okay. I'm setting this aside Set so we can this like. Set this aside because I think I actually want to say this. Yeah, that's actually really good. Say, thank you so much, thank Justin you. That Cannon. Is, that is actually pretty cool. That is we get, very poetic. We, that is that we have to do that for our dip for the dinner. Damn right. Our wedding's in like less than two weeks. Love you. Ah, ah, ah. This episode is also sponsored by Boom Studios. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much to do. I think we got most of it done. Go go Power Rangers number three. Yeah. I'm sorry, I need to panic. I'm the bride. It's 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 in like you know the bride's guide. All right, so I'm opening something from Lone Star Comics. I am also opening something from Lone Star Comics. Lone Star. It's Lone Star. <laughs> All right, we got ah, it fell. It's go ah. Well, we can't open it now. <laughs> oh no, it's tainted by the ground. Oh dang it! It's uh, I got the Creep Show comic. Problem is, I have it already, and in fact, I did it on Long Box of the Damned already. Oh god damn it! But this is like it's 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 one of those things where they ah, I can't even see what it is. And that's yet. a shame because this is like I recall this being a bit expensive. All right. But thank you so much for it though. I think it's probably better quality copy than mine. Star versus the Forces of Evil, Deep Trouble. Okay, that one I don't have. Jed watches a show. It's apparently pretty good. And Quantum Leap comic. Woot. Lupa, you should think about that's over. I think Lupa has has uh, like looked at them before, not like reviewed them, but she has like read them before. Hmm. This is from it's from Jeffrey Piat. Hmm. You know what else? It's probably from Jeffrey Piat, but not Wired. Wired, sponsored, <laughs> hashtag not sponsored for any of these things, but Wired, it's a wire. Not what it is, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm opening up another letter. Mm -hmm. Want me to read it? I, I'll read it this time. Okay. Because it's from our other sponsor, the Indianapolis Zoo in downtown Walt River State Park. Oh boy, but there might be a problem with that, sweetie. We have to go visit the South Bend in Mishawaka, Indiana. Oh my god, South Bend doesn't have a chimpanzee like at the state zoo? I don't know, let's find out. Oh, but we do have domes and the Gillespie. But does it have covered bridges and a covered bridge festival? Let's find out now. You hear? According to this, up clo get up close and interactive animal exhibits outside and indoors. But we could go to the Double Tree Hilton in in South Bend, where we've got the warmest welcome. Do you have troublesome kids? They can be eaten by a tiger for you, freeing up your time forever. Your guide to kid friendly South Bend, Mishawaka. Do you need to hide a body really quick because Google Hooker Hider is not acting up? It, it basically, you could hide it in a water park. Root, what? root, root for the cubbies. Indiana's first zoo, located on 23 acres. Potawatomi Zoo is Indiana's first zoo and exhibits more than 400 animals. And what if, you know, marijuana is still not legal in this state? You can be soaring high with butterflies. B-Y-O-M, bring your own marijuana. Not the worthwhile does not, uh, not endorse marijuana usage one way or another. <laughs> Figa totally endorses usage one way or another. <laughs> if we're accurate, Tom Forthwell does not encourage drug use one way or another. Yes, okay, I'll agree with that. Uh, ah, this one is an, an eBay purchase, uh, but it is the Alien Nation movie comic. Nice. Hmm. All right, I'm opening something from... Amazon Fulfillment Services! Which might just be another, you know, wedding gift. We'll it find could. out. Let's find out. Alright, we Ooh. got Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt. Ooh, that's different. This is definitely for you, because you're a Gundam fan. I am a Gundam fan. That, that thing looks cool. Here, check it out. We got the Seven Deadly Sins manga. Which I haven't read any of or watched the net, uh, series on Netflix. We Universal got, Century stuff, too, it looks like. We got He-Man Thundercats. Thunder, 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 He-Man. Thundercats. 
He-Man, 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 and the cats. We also got Tintin and the Seven Crystal Balls. Oh, well, I don't think we have any Tintin comics. We That's do it. not have any Tintin comics. Oh, good. Let's rectify that. All right, and we got some more, more asterisks. Asterisks. asterisks in the cauldron, asterisks in the Roman agent, and one more Tintin. Tintin and the Secret of the Unicorn. Nice. This is uh, from someone from Rhode Island. It does not have a name on the le on the envelope, but there's a letter. <laughs> oh, I forgot this existed. Oh, what? X-Men Phoenix with um, that artwork. Oh, dear. It's, it's Oh, why, God, why? Yeah. Why? Oh, my. Yeah. Is she, does she? Is she? Okay, that totally looked like she just had a bare at, like, bare bottom. <laughs> Dear Linkara and Vega, I've been watching you for the past two years. I've been watching you when I came across your History of Power Rangers on the Channel Awesome site. You have given me much joy at a time when I was just getting back into comics after the Marvel Dark Runs. I'm a bit of a Marvel fangirl and grew up on the Marvel cartoons on Fox when I was a kid. I stopped buying comics for a few years uh, due to the store I was going to have a crappy selection and the prices of the comics these days. Although I never truly stopped reading comics as I have always been a big heavy metal fan. I got introduced to it through the original movie and started reading the magazine when I was 15, going to the store with my sister, who looked old enough to buy. I love the stories that they tell, and the art doesn't hurt. I'd really like to know your opinion on Requiem Chevalier Vampire by Pat Mills. Never read it. Never heard of it. I'm also sending you some comics I bought from the thrift store. I thought I was buying something related to the Phoenix stories of the X-Men comics, but it turned out that I didn't. They are part of Marvel's Max line, which I didn't know until your review of Marvel. The comics in question are X-Men Phoenix. You can see my confusion about my purchase now. I hope that they can be of use to you. With great thanks and many laughs, Samantha. God damn, these covers and why. Yeah, Marvel Max is basically kind of their more adult line. But, you know, those, those images show just like the real maturity that they have in mind with it. Say, sweetie, what do you have there? Harley and Ivy meets Betty and Veronica, which I actually bought the first issue of because I was curious. Uh, <laughs> so, looks like now I got a second copy. Yeah, anything else in there? Nope. All right. Oh. <sighs> All right. Starting to run down a bit. Which... I only got two more things on my side. Well, let's see what I got on my side. You know what I think? I think that something sweet should be had here. What? Almost like Sweet Owen, in fact. And we can find Sweet Owen in the great state of Indiana, Owen County. Oh dear. Is it better than the official roadway map for Indiana? Uh, looking forward to you visiting Sweet Owen County. Please stop into the visitor center. Bring your brochure for a small gift and more information about our county. Is it near the Fair Oaks Farm, where like, you could see this one cow and one pig? Did a bunch of people coordinate with the Indiana Tourism Office? Well, we could use this map to find them. I guess so. <laughs> and this is also sponsored by Hooser Energy, because it's filled with Hoosers. Hoosier. Hoosers. Hoosier. Hoosers. Hoosier. Hoosers. Hoosier. Hoosier. Who's your daddy? <laughs> Well, I, I know he played Jason Voorhees in my last episode. <laughs> anyway, this is from Yamuda. Yeah, I'm opening something from Yamuda. Yeah, Muda. Honey, no. Yeah. Oh, this is from the registry. Ah, what is it? It is, uh, it's like a towel. It's, it's, it's something I saw online and it looked so beautiful. I'm going to use it as a tablecloth. Oh, neat. It's like this colorful mandala sort of thing. Oh, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Really colorful and nice. I want to use it as a like tablecloth. For the uh, for the dinner table? I, it is big enough for the dinner table, actually. Hmm. I thought it was going to be smaller, but no, it's actually big enough for our dinner table. Ah, neat. Thank you so much. I, gotta, I don't know who bought it. I got to look on the registry. So thank you to that person. I'll be sending thank you notes to everyone who's buying wedding stuff. We got Batman Hellboy Starman crossover. Uh, Donald and Mickey. And Adventure Time X Regular Show. I was looking at that in the store and I was like, I'm tempted to... Hey, there's one more thing in there. No, no it's, a, it's oh. uh, just a cardboard backing. Okay. I was like tempted to get it, but I wasn't sure. But now I'll just like read this one. Hmm. 
Yeah, I got, I got that thing I wanted. Yay! It's so colorful. Half time we should say leave that to last, considering a lot, all my remaining stuff is. Uh, okay. <laughs> of course, you drop it on the ground. I didn't mean to drop it that hard. Okay, why don't you open that up while I grab another one? Yeah. This is from Chris Morse. Which looks like an eBay purchase, so. This is Amazon fulfillment. Yeah. And it's Batman Elmer Fudd. Yep, I know about this. Everyone decided to tell me about it. Batman Elmer Fudd? It's actually supposed to be really good. <laughs> Elmer Fudd shoots Batman. <laughs> but you know what's even crazier? What? It's Honey Britch's Pony, the movie. Give me that and... Yeah, 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 yeah. The story of how Honey Britch's Pony saves Equestria... Stop it. ...from, from you Thunderfoot. You saw the movie. You saw did, the movie, too. I did see the movie. I dragged him to the movie. And, he liked and it. He liked it. It was okay. He liked it. It was okay. <laughs> I think I think Brad may have overreacted a bit too much to it. It's just... It's, 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 it's a My Little Pony movie. It's exactly what I walked in expecting it to be. I did. I was mad at Twilight because I don't want. It's still in theater, so I'm not going to spoil it. But I was mad at Twilight. It's a for good most thing that, movie. that Honey Britch's Pony saved the day in the end to ensure that uh, that all ponydom had shut up their freedom. Shut the buck up. And and Honey Britch's Pony made a speech at the end saying the freedom was the right. Quit your all, whinnying, you damn stallion of, of crap. You called me a stallion. Of crap. A stallion of crap. This is from Jeffrey Piat. Hi, Lewis. Let's do the time warp again. How would Morante look in drag? It is a, the comic adaptation of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, cool. Neat. You should do like an episode of that. You could do several episodes of that, actually. I remember. I haven't watched it for a long time. See, that's something nice and unique. We don't get so, that. That's like you know, that's that's you know. I I never even knew there was a comic adaptation. Me neither. That. Then again, I've never actually seen Rocky Horror Picture either. Really? You never seen it? Nope. The Holy thing, crap! It, it's it's just never it. really interested me outside of the songs. Craven. Is this Craven? Craven the Hunter. Get Craven. Eh. I'm uh, getting a Craven. Superman, Legion of Super Substitute Heroes. Yep. And Looney Tunes. Yeah. There you go. I got Boom Studios thing right here. Well, ah, everything is ruined forever. <laughs> I predict Go Go Power Rangers. No, it's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 20 with Red Ranger on the moon. And we got Legion of Superheroes Bugs Bunny. All righty. I didn't know they were doing a whole Looney Tunes and DC Comics type of thing. Yeah. Well, I haven't really been paying attention to DC lately. Yeah, they've been doing a few crossovers lately. And the Batman number Foot one has gotten a lot of requests from people. So I think everything. But before we go and open the biggest package, don't you want to know about Ripley County, Indiana? Oh, do I? Do I? Ripley County, Indiana, where... Ah, where yeah. the buffalo roam. Where you could go to the, the Friendship Flea Markets. Battle... Batesville 44th Annual Music and Arts Festival, and the After Hours Concert of Eric Taylor. Indiana, you have more festivals than Pokemon. Also go to the Annual Grower and Produce Seminar in Ripley County. You can go to Little Charlie's Restaurant and Brewery, and uh, check out Damn Theater. Every other Okay, it's literally called Damn Theater. Every other episode Damn of Pokemon Theater. is... A festival celebrating some Pokemon out there. Damn and you theme. have more festivals than them in the 800 plus episodes of Pokemon. So go to the Southeast Indiana Arts Trail. Oh, wait. We could go to the Otter Creek Covered Bridge. Explore oh our bridges. Bridges. I think. Oh, boy. A, 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 a structure that allows us to go over water and connect two points together. Indiana, Woo, bridges. Indiana. You tried to build a bridge with us, but you just ended up burning it. Don't talk about our sponsors like that. <laughs> look, look, screw the sponsors. Sponsorship is over. What you gonna do? Hashtag not sponsored by Indiana. Indiana could go, like, they could go, um, go have a festival of, of, of shutting up. <laughs> like, 
can't I can't think of anything right now. I'm too tired. <laughs> Indiana wants me. <laughs> This is from Amazon Fulfillment, blurg blurg. So this is probably from the... This is registry. wedding stuff. So let's end this episode. With a wedding gift. Vegan and Lewis, we're, we are so overjoyed you guys found each other and starting a life together. A life rich in comics, ramen, and Pokemon. Seriously wishing you all the happiest to ever. Zara and Amanda. Oh, it's from it's from the Amanda. Yep. The Amanda and uh, uh, Omega. What do we got here? The suit, like the... Like... Ah, uh, what's it called? What's it called? The bamboo sushi set. Because hmm. I wanted a, a bamboo one instead of the plastic one. Yep. And let's see. Oh, and the trays I wanted. Oh, neat. These are just like plain plain uh, wooden trays, but I'm planning on painting them. Ah, nice. Mm. So I'm gonna, I want to paint it like awesome colors. Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Well, I don't know. Wind's transparent, so... Yeah. Have you ever something something in the newborn moon? Have you ever been to Indiana's yes, bridge? bridge? Have you ever, ever had, had a time at the fall festival? I can't believe we got so much damn Indiana crap. Anyway, thank you all for everything. We're not going to Indiana. Unless a convention invites us. Okay, fine. Well, but why would anyone invite us now? <laughs> you know what? We just burned that bridge, I guess. And...